Welcome to Newsroom. Subscribe to our channel for news updates across the world. Imagine tossing a message in a bottle into the ocean, not knowing who will find it, or if it will survive. Now picture that ocean as interstellar space, and the bottle as Voyager 2, a spacecraft carrying humanity's story on a golden record. Launched in 1977, Voyager 2 has traveled farther than any human-made object, a testament to our curiosity and ingenuity. As of 2025, it's over 13 billion miles from home, so distant that light takes over 20 hours to reach it. Communicating with Voyager 2 is like whispering across a cosmic canyon, waiting days for a reply. Its mission began as a grand tour of the outer planets, but it didn't stop there. Voyager 2 pushed beyond the solar system, entering the space between stars, a realm we'd only theorized about. It's our scout, our pioneer, sending back data from a place we cannot yet visit. Despite its 1970s technology, it's still collecting precious data, helping us understand the boundary between our solar system and the galaxy. Every signal is a piece of a puzzle, revealing the edge of our cosmic home. Voyager 2's journey is a story of survival, exploration, and the human spirit. It's not just a machine, it's our most distant ambassador. Its discoveries are stranger and more wonderful than we ever imagined. Against all odds, it's still talking to us, decades after launch. Voyager 2's odyssey is a reminder of how far our curiosity can take us, and its story is just beginning to unfold. Let's rewind to 1977, Disco, Star Wars, and NASA's bold grand tour. A rare planetary alignment occurring only once every 176 years allowed a spacecraft to slingshot from planet to planet, saving time and fuel. NASA seized the chance, launching Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Voyager 2 launched first on August 20, 1977, set to visit Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These worlds were mysterious, just fuzzy dots in telescopes. Voyager 2 transformed them into detailed worlds, revealing Jupiter's storms, Saturn's rings, Uranus's tilted magnetism, and Neptune's wild winds. Each flyby rewrote our understanding of the outer solar system. After Neptune, Voyager 2's mission shifted, it would journey outward, aiming for the edge of the Sun's influence. Its new goal to cross into interstellar space, carrying Earth's golden record as a message to the galaxy. No longer just a planetary explorer, Voyager 2 became a silent ambassador, venturing into the unknown. Its discoveries would shape our view of the solar system's frontier. The grand tour was over, but the real adventure had just begun. Voyager 2's extended mission would redefine what it means to explore, and its journey continues, deeper into the cosmic ocean. What does it mean to leave the solar system? There's no signpost, just the invisible boundary of the sun's influence. The sun blows a constant stream of charged particles, the solar wind, creating a vast magnetic bubble, the heliosphere. This bubble shields us from the harsh interstellar environment, like a ship plowing through cosmic waters. The heliosphere extends billions of miles, enveloping all the planets. Its edge isn't a single line, but a series of layers. First comes the termination shock, where the solar wind abruptly slows as it meets the interstellar medium. Beyond is the heliosheath, a turbulent region where solar and galactic forces collide. The final boundary is the heliopause, the true edge of the sun's influence. Here, the solar wind yields to the interstellar medium. Crossing the heliopause means leaving our solar system's protective bubble. This was Voyager 2's ultimate destination, the invisible frontier between home and the galaxy. It's the edge of everything we've ever known. Before Voyager 2 reached the frontier, scientists had only models and educated guesses. We expected a gradual transition at the edge, a blurry boundary where the sun's influence faded slowly. The magnetic fields of the sun and galaxy were thought to remain separate, like rivers running side by side. The interstellar medium was expected to be sparse and cool, with predictable levels of cosmic rays. Voyager 2's instruments would finally test these ideas, dipping a toe into the interstellar ocean. We thought we understood the edge of our solar system, but the universe is always more creative than our theories. The real boundary, as Voyager 2 would reveal, was nothing like we imagined. Our predictions were about to face a cosmic reality check, and the surprises would change everything. On November 5, 2018, after 41 years and 11 billion miles, Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause. The transition was abrupt, 
not gradual as predicted. One day Voyager 2 was inside the sun's bubble, the next, it was out. Its plasma instrument showed the solar wind vanished almost instantly. The boundary was sharp, a cosmic wall, not a gentle slope. At the same moment Voyager 2's cosmic ray detector spiked, revealing a sudden onslaught of galactic particles. The heliosphere's shield was gone, and the probe was exposed to the galaxy. This clear, dramatic shift proved the heliopause is a hard edge. Voyager 1 had crossed earlier but Voyager 2's working instruments gave us the first high-resolution look. The data was undeniable. The solar system's boundary is far more defined than we thought. The universe had delivered a stunning surprise. The crossing wasn't a slow fade. It was a switch flipped in space. Our models had missed the mark. Voyager 2's journey had revealed a new reality at the edge of home. The frontier was sharper, stranger and more dramatic than anyone expected, and the discoveries were just beginning. In interstellar space Voyager 2 found surprises everywhere. The plasma outside the heliosphere was denser than expected, not crowded but more substantial than models predicted. Even more shocking it was much hotter, tens of thousands of degrees. Despite the heat, the thinness of space meant Voyager 2 wasn't in danger, its instrument simply measured the energetic particles. These findings showed the interstellar medium is more dynamic and variable than we thought. The boundary isn't a calm sea but choppy, changing waters. Understanding this environment matters, it's the birthplace of stars and planets. Voyager 2's direct measurements are our first real samples of the galaxy's raw material. The data is forcing scientists to rethink how our solar system interacts with the galaxy. Each discovery deepens our understanding of the Milky Way. Voyager 2 is rewriting the textbook on our cosmic neighborhood. Voyager 2's most surprising find was about the magnetic field at the edge. Old models predicted a clean separation between the sun's field and the galaxies. But Voyager 2 found they're connected, our bubble is leaky. Magnetic portals link the heliosphere to interstellar space, creating temporary tunnels for particles to pass through. This overturned decades of theory and explained mysteries like unexpected cosmic rays inside our solar system. The boundary is dynamic, not a fortress but a castle with secret passages. Magnetic reconnection is a universal process and Voyager 2 gave us a front row seat. This discovery changes how we see our solar system's shield. It's a living, breathing boundary, not a static wall. Voyager 2's data is helping us understand the fundamental physics of the universe. The heliosphere shields us from dangerous galactic cosmic rays. Particles accelerated by supernova. Without this shield, life on Earth would be at risk. Voyager 1 and 2 cross the boundary at different places and times, revealing the heliosphere isn't a perfect sphere. It's squashed and asymmetric, shaped by the pressure of the interstellar medium, more like a cosmic croissant than a ball. The Voyager's data show how the shield's strength changes with the sun's activity. When the sun is active, the shield expands. When quiet, it shrinks. This information is vital for future human explorers venturing beyond Earth's protection. The Voyagers are helping us model the cosmic ray environment for future missions. Their legacy is keeping 21st century astronauts safer. These 1970s probes are shaping the future of space exploration. The shape of our shield is more complex and more important than we ever knew. Voyager 2's journey isn't over. It still sends back data as it drifts deeper into interstellar space. Its power will fade by 2030, but its legacy is secure. Voyager 2 has transformed our understanding of the solar system and our place in the galaxy. It replaced theory with surprising facts. A sharp boundary, a leaky magnetic shield, a hotter, denser interstellar medium. The probes have challenged our assumptions at every turn. Their data will guide scientists and future missions for decades. Voyager 2 is more than a machine, it's a symbol of human curiosity and exploration. Long after its signal fades it will carry our golden record through the Milky Way. Perhaps one day it will be found, perhaps not. Either way its voyage represents the best of us, our drive to explore and understand. Voyager 2's odyssey is a testament to our relentless spirit, and its story will inspire generations to come.